never been the same since I saw this movie. Simply one of our best directors ever. It's amazing. It's beautiful to look at. It's entertaining. This is a terrific movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. I think it's a perfect essential. Key Largo, 1948. This is a particularly notable film because it's the last one that Bogart and McCall made together. The performances in Key Largo are perfectly understated. Director John Huston and Humphrey Bogart are one of the great teams. It's always amazing for me to watch my great uncle Lionel in a film. Why are they pointing those guns at us? Now look, Bob, forget the questions. What you don't know won't hurt you. We'll be out of here in a couple of hours. Try to put up with us that long, huh? Key Largo, John Houston directing, 1948, uh, Lionel Barrymore. Yep. Yes. In our the, second in our yes in uh, our this year. season. And we were talking briefly uh, between ourselves about how amazing it was he had this career uh, for so many years w without being able to walk in a wheelchair. Yes, no other person, and as a major star. And played a character like Potter in It's a Wonderful Life, which is. You know, right. such a, a huge role and such an important film, and right. yet there he was in his chair. But all these great directors really wanted to work with him. Yes. You know, John Houston in this film. Frank Capra. And you know, Frank Capra, and he was in films with top flight directors all along the line. Yeah. Shut up, you scum. One of the things that intrigues me about this movie is the fact that it, it shows what the power of strong personalities as actors bring to a, a story because it has in it Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson and Lauren Bacall and Claire Trevor and Lionel Barrymore and they all bring something dynamic to the story. It feels very theatrical. Uh -huh. um, it, it, you know, this hotel uh, really feels like a stage mm -hmm. um, and that's sort of what really hit me while I was watching it. Other than loving noir cinematography and uh, the lighting, um, and sort of the style, it really felt like a stage play. And it had been. Oh. A stage play. Well, there you go. Yes. Yeah. But not a successful one. It was a stage play Paul Muni had done in New York, and it was not successful. John Huston took the bones of the story, changed around the era and a lot of stuff, and turned it into what he turned it into. And it's got this great cast. It's got, uh, uh, you know, these two powerful personalities. I think it's also got one of the great entrances anyone ever made into a film when you first see Edward G. Robinson. Well, and he's been so built up by the other characters yeah. of like what they can he's and can't do. Mob, mobster depending that. on if he's like, you know, coming down or what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So you can tell that he's pulling all the puppet strings. Mm -hmm. Now, John Huston won the Academy Award that year for directing Treasure of the Sierra Madre. And also he won for, I think, writing the script of that. And he also, Claire Trevor won for this performance in Key Largo. So the, he did very well at the Oscars that year. Yes. It was very prominent. And she's wonderful. In yeah, movies. she's very tumultuous and loves and hates the same person and is very damaged. But um, yeah, she's just incredible in it. Mm -hmm. He's the kind of man, he's the kind of woman like me. And also it's the last film that Bogart and McCall made together. They were now married and uh, made four films together. This was number four. I was really, um, I think, the most struck by, um, once again, how understated a lot of the performances were. And that there is a lot of reaction and a lack of dialogue in some of the scenes mm -hmm. where they're, you know, you're really getting what they're thinking and feeling by the looks on their faces or what they're not doing as opposed to what, you know, they're not saying. Mm -hmm. um, and so I found that really, really amazing and clearly evident of the actors and John Huston's choices. Well, let's see the film. Here's the last of the four teamings of the great Bogey and Bacall from Warner Brothers in 1948, also starring Lionel Barrymore, Key Largo.